Oh, so, my name is Megan, and this piece is untitled. Miss Holsar, he's saying I have a boyfriend, and I reiterate for the umpteenth time that nobody in the first grade has a boyfriend or a girlfriend, then. It's Valentine's Day, they make cards that we encourage for them to send to someone they care about, someone they love, and one student leaves the card they made in the mailbox of another, and it reads, Happy Valentine's Day. I like you because you're pretty and nice. Not a single word was spelled correctly, but how beautiful it is to like someone because they are pretty and nice. I resist the urge to tell them that at grade 16, pretty and nice, just don't cut it unless they're accompanied by funny, supportive, and perhaps most importantly, financially stable. But I digress. Instead, I take all the the recipient from starting a fight as the sender runs away, face beat red to hide from his confession, and a crowd quickly gathers around me wondering who sent it, and what it says, and who it's for, and choruses of oohs and eews break out simultaneously. <laughs> we transition to another lesson. As I switch gears, I hear the strains of K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Finally, something they can spell, but... <laughs> but someone is on the floor crying because they're, they're, they're saying I like her, but, but I don't. And I reiterate for the umpteenth and one time that there is nobody in the first grade with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but I turn around and they're twerking. And I Denied by the shy and less bold, I finally offer to dance with her. She swings, spins, and sways, <laughs> giggles and laughs, and for just a minute, it's all about being six years old. The night janitor and I talk as we work. He tells me that it's hard for some people to marry a teacher because while well, you're at school working, they have to be at home and microwave dinner, and I tell him that I have my hands way too full to marry someone too incompetent to make their own dinner, so. <laughs> <laughs>